A few weeks ago, Samsung Bespoke was included in our newest appliance trends to avoid. It seems like a curious choice given that we're all looking for alternatives to stainless steel. Bespoke has four different finishes for the range. Microwave and dishwasher, the refrigerator has a whopping 11 glass finishes plus five finishes in steel. But that's the problem. Rather, how it incorporates into your kitchen design is the biggest issue. This video is really about kitchen design and why bespoke, however well-intentioned, will eventually fail in your home. Let's get started. Some people have commented that it must have an ax to grind with Samsung. That's completely not the case. Samsung introduced styled appliances with softer edges and better aesthetics. The appliances are beautiful and you don't have to spend a fortune to buy a nice looking kitchen. However, sometimes they take it too far with innovations like reimagining a dishwasher with a water wall instead of wash arms. Bespoke, however well intended, has gone a little bit too far as well. There are two levels of bespoke. Let's look at the range microwave and dishwasher first. The problem is the color selection. First, you should never buy black stainless steel from any manufacturer because it's an oxide coating over stainless. The coating is scratchable and will show the stainless undercoating. It's not repairable or covered by warranty, so you'll be looking at a constellation of shiny stainless under that semi-black surface. Brown is doomed as a color, whether my grandfather sold it as coffee, my dad's selling it as cappuccino, or me selling Samsung as Tuscan. People don't like brown because metallic or glass brown doesn't match brown cabinets and certainly not the more modern white or gray. Samsung is now the only company offering brown. It won't work. So that leaves us with navy. I like navy, but it's not as popular as the lighter colors like white. I can only theorize lighter colors brighten your kitchen, whereas darker colors like blue and black do not. So that leaves Samsung with stainless. Stainless is popular because it matches every cabinet color. Now let's look at the refrigerator. Have to admit, I love playing on Samsung's website, bespoking my refrigerator, plenty of choices. In glass, it's white, matte, clementine, sunrise yellow, charcoal, morning blue, and pink. In steel, it's stainless navy, emerald green, matte black, and Tuscan. We all want choices. What could be the problem? In good design, the refrigerator is never in the middle of your kitchen and can never be the focal point. It's always off to the end because you don't need to be in your refrigerator in the same way you have to stir the soup in your stove. Bespoke works in a galley or smaller kitchen because every appliance is the focal point. If your kitchen opens to a family room, the refrigerator could be a highlight as well. Just design your own and look at your plan. It's a good idea. Just on the wrong appliance, black stainless and Tuscan are not the right finishes. If you want to add color to your kitchen, add it to your range. Still, Bespoke has a certain appeal in limited applications. Samsung could improve the line by adding some stove color options rather than discounting the refrigerator 33%. And by the way, I still really like Samsung and I hope they figure it out. Click the link to download our free appliance buying guide. Fortunately, we all know somebody who has been talking to buying the wrong appliance. Don't let that happen to you. Over a million people found the right answers in the Yale Guide. Thanks for watching.